Hello, welcome to The Critical Essay. This will be our first video corresponding with our September 1st Tuesday class. Um, I am Francis Cannon. You can call me Frankie, which is my nickname, but um, you don't have to. You can call me Professor, you don't have to. Um, I'll just give you a little introduction to myself and this class. There will also be an interactive Google Doc where you can type um, your thoughts and reactions. And then we will be meeting synchronously on Zoom at two o'clock on Tuesday. So this is my art studio. I live in Burlington and I um, conduct most of my remote classes here because it is better internet that my, than my house. In fact, right now I don't have internet at my house. Um, I need to fix that. But anyway, this is my art studio. You can see some of my paintings and um, various odds and ends and um, my whiteboard where hopefully I'll be able to write some more important things than a sunflower and a canoe. This is my dog, Tintin. <laughs> that was, that was the most awkward dog showing. Um, she's asleep, so I won't rouse her. I'm glad that I'll be able to have her with me for these remote classes because she's not actually allowed in all physical manifestations of the VCFA campus. I'll bring her to the outdoor events. And um, now about our course, more importantly. So this course has uh, taken on a bunch of different shapes over the years. I taught it last year, and um, before that, I'm certain that it looked and sounded and felt quite different. Um, I primarily will help you write, edit, and edit again your critical essays that will be paired with your thesis. So I absolutely understand and anticipate that all of you will have very different theses. Um, and I'll be reading portions of all of those. Of course, I won't be able to read all of your theses, but you will be um, writing an abstract and describing your thesis to me. And many of you won't know what that is yet, meaning your thesis, and that's totally fine. The critical essay will just be a component, more of a critical theory and creative nonfiction component. Um, that's quite a range in the sense that many of your critical essays might n not be experimental or creative or lyrical, and some of yours will be, and we'll find a way to fulfill the expectations of the school. Um, if it were up to me, um, almost any form of the essay would be acceptable for this critical essay in the sense of um, prose poetry and all sorts of lyrical essays and hybrid essays and um, that might not necessarily be accepted by all. So we're going to work together to make sure that the formatting, length, and everything that has to do with your essay um, will pass. Um, so that's just to say that we'll be reading widely in the genre to get a bunch of ideas and inspiration about what this genre of the critical essay is, um, genre and form. And um, we'll take those ideas from a bunch of different sources. Um, first of all, we'll have three texts. You'll have seen that in the syllabus and in my emails. The first of those texts is this book, The Shapes of Native Nonfiction, and it's edited and compiled by Elisa Washuta and Teresa Warburton. And um, that's our first text. Those three um, first readings for homework are both on the syllabus and in our interactive Google Doc. And I'm hoping that you'll enjoy this book. Um, I happen to think that anthologies are the best text for classes because you get all sorts of different authors and not just a single author that we're reading all semester. Um, so that's our first text. And do know that we have other two other texts, and I won't go on too much about those right now because we'll, we'll move through them one at a time. 
but do make sure that you have all three books. Um, and just in case, for whatever reason, you don't have those listed, um, they're in our syllabus. The other two titles are Sister Outsider, Essays and Speeches by Audre Lorde, and The World Split Open, uh, Great Authors on How and Why We Write. So um, please get in touch if you're having a, a hard time finding those in print or ebooks, whatever form works best for you. Um, let me know if you're not able to get those books. So um, I, I think for this first video, um, I'll keep it short because we'll have other ways to introduce ourselves to each other and I'll have more opportunities to introduce myself to you. And um, in the meantime, stay safe, keep yourself sane, and I may see some of you at today's writing and publishing picnic and possibly at the orientation tomorrow. Um, one thing about me is that I have two other teaching jobs because as an adjunct professor, um, I have to juggle. So um, many of the um, faculty meetings, etc., I may only be able to part partly participate in, um, including the orientation. So I'm hoping to see you there and I will certainly see you all in our um, synchronous Zoom meeting for this class, Tuesday, tomorrow, September 1st at two o'clock. Signing out.